Hello, tankers. So, today we've got a bit of a montage of uh, rolls and crashes from the new physics. So, physics have been out for a while, but these are basically games that I ran into after the first week or two of uh, when they introduced the new physics. So, they, there you see a chaffee that starts off with a, a barrel roll and then uh, gets flipped up with the enemy team and uh, killed there. Here's another chaffee uh, sliding down to a spot that's uh, fairly familiar. Um, and uh, looks like he decides that he's not really that interested in the spot and tries to inch his way out. Finds that uh, it's not going to let him do that with the new physics and ends up uh, what looks like he's going to turn there, but um, he gives out of our render range and sure enough we get back to him a little bit later. And um, yeah, he's flipped himself on his side and he can't really do much. Uh, a little frustrated with himself, just sitting there. Uh, finally I find him and put a few shots into him. Uh, take him out of his misery. And um, that's usually what happens when you put yourself on the side. There's really nothing much you can do. Uh, you just wait for someone to either help you or take you out. In this case, uh, you can see he was uh, fairly frustrated with him and uh, self and glad that uh, I took him out of the game so he could move on to the garage, I guess. Um, here's another one. This is a T-67, I think, before the patch where they put a roof on the turret. And again, uh, this is uh, another chaffy, but this time he's not flipping himself. He's going to actually... Uh, give this guy a nudge and put him back on his uh, feet right and off they both go. They actually both had uh, quite a bit of an impact on the rest of this game. I think they managed to pull it out. So a good guy comes there. And now there's a couple uh, videos that are games that showed uh, why the Cromwell is the boss. Uh, no other tank, medium tank like it. So just does a nonchalant little roll and keeps on going. And here on Sand River, comes around the corner, shows off doing a little roll, and then followed up by me and my German behemoth just uh, shaking my head at the British show off there. So here I am again, uh, climbing the hill in my uh, German behemoth, the KV-5, and uh, followed by a uh, German tank destroyer, figuring we're going to get some real synergy on the hill. and. Um, get up here and then the uh, the Rheimatol decides that uh, he he must have seen something uh, flying over or something because he decides that uh, his gun's best used uh, shooting at the planes so uh, he puts it on the side so he can aim his gun straight up like this it's the only way he can get the elevation on that tank <laughs> so yeah he didn't help much in that game uh, and uh, here we are with a replay, uh, a game where I was uh, playing in another uh, German heavy, uh, tank destroyer. This time I think I'm in the Jag Panther 2, which uh, I, th I believe is almost 53 tons. So you don't really expect to be able to do something like this in a tank that's 53 tons, but um, that was a lot of frustrating. It was kind of a key point in the game, and uh, I put a Jag Tiger 2 on its side. Good job. So, be careful even in the heavy guys. Here's a uh, ta uh, replay where uh, so a couple light tanks come up and to try and tech out new spots. Uh, first one puts himself on the side. And rather than helping him, the, uh, his buddy in the second light tank comes along and uh, says, Oh, well, you didn't get up here. I'm going to play around and take that spot that you were looking at. Um, and uh, we'll see how that how well that works out for him. Really, it only takes a little bit of a nudge to uh, whoop. So yeah, so now he found uh, either side of this ramp. They they found spots where yeah, he can't really get out. Of it. But on the plus side, um, the two of these guys who are totally stuck here did manage to. Uh, First, uh, 
I think that's an M103 or T it's some American. So they did manage to take out uh, one tank uh, before they were killed sitting on their sides. So yeah, good job. Uh, and then here we go again. Same map. Another tank on the side. This time he did manage to do some damage. And here's a third one where uh, we get a light tank running away from a couple other tanks. Falls on the side but doesn't give up. Keeps firing. And uh, manages to pull off one more hit. Because um, <laughs> the enemy just sits in front of him there. He can't turn left or right. But the uh, enemy sat there and uh, let him get some more damage in. Okay, so here we've got another show-off tank. He does a roll, but he does, uh, I think this is a, I think that was a panther, but, uh, so he's, uh, one-upping the, um, uh, Cromwell. Not only did he do the roll, but he then took out an enemy right after it, so pretty fancy. And, uh, this is just some, some good driving here in my light, so fine get him killed and then uh, well let's get down and yeah We're done for. might as well put myself out of the game there we go crashes speaking of crashes here's the CDC uh, showing us how to do a forward barrel barrel roll that's uh, a somersault I should say that was a attempt for that and then the Bert the flying Bert comes off and does a quick fly But it gets taken out too. The flying bird. I think that's the circus act. Here I am back in the behemoth and uh, just uh, watching people throw themselves at me. It's kind of fun. One by one. So I think that is that a CDC? I think, or maybe it's a, yeah. I think it's well. In any case, it's it's light compared to the KV-5. So I give him a shove. I think it take him. Well, he might have repaired, but the second shove takes him out. I still had the gun loaded, and I fire, take out another one. And another tank bothering me, and I fire at him and take him out um, before this guy finally gets behind me and finishes me off. So. Good job, enemies there, just dying all around me. Now this last segment, uh, we call this uh, Three Stooges. Uh, we have Low, uh, Larry, Moe, and Curly here. They, the whole game, they basically just harassed this poor guy. Uh, and I've skipped over most of it. I mean, they from the, from, the, from the spawn point on, they were basically doing this. But uh, I figured show off some of the new physics here. Here, I thought uh, he was going to get one of them off their back and it's like who he's gonna flip them but um, he manages to stay upright and ends up getting flipped on his side so the three of them are like well this is no fun uh, what do we do now and it actually turns out the enemies came around the corner and took out one of them so now it's just the two of them and so they were uh, fooling around and uh, seeing what damage they could do to them or, or what more they could harass them and one of them goes and gets himself flipped on the side. So his buddy tries to get him unflipped, gives him a couple shoves, tries to get the uh, their victim pushed out of the way. But in the end, interesting uh, bit of physics here. They actually rolled the, uh, I think that's a stug of some sort, rolled him back and gave him enough momentum See, I think he does it this time. Gives him a little extra shove, so he f rolls back. And then he actually comes back with enough momentum to get uprighted. So, he gets out of that. And so the two of them continue to harass him. Uh, and uh, the only saving grace for him here is... Uh, that one of them finally does enough damage to him to turn blue. He notices it and says, good. You can get rid of him. So some justice, he takes him out. Now you notice in the game we're uh, up 12 to 11, but uh, really two of the tanks aren't in it. So because of these two fool, because of these three fools, I guess. And then here's where the uh, 
last one of the three Stooges uh, finally does enough damage to him to get turned blue. Some justice. We end up uh, not winning this game, uh, obviously with four tanks effectively out the entire game. It's not surprising, but it was kind of justice to see those three uh, morons uh, finally killed. And uh, the guy that they were harassing was able to take them out. So anyways, that's uh, my montage on um, new physics. Hope you enjoyed it.